Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Walter Fate, and I'm here to talk about nice guys once again. These are those guys who say they're nice and try to prove it by giving gifts and shit like that, but when they don't get what they want, they show their true colors. Those true colors are usually less nice. Anyway, let's get started with more nice guys from Reddit. This video is going to be more like my old ones. I found another Ask Reddit thread requesting nice guy experiences, so we're going to be covering some shorter stories and then some posts from Reddit nice guys. I know you're probably going to ask me to just do this every time, but I don't always have the material. Either way, let's fucking go. Some guy at my old school. He found out that I also watched anime and got all hyped about it. I didn't think much of it because I wasn't super popular and was looking for people with the same interests as me. We looked at each other's watched anime list and talked about it a lot. He'd stay up all night if there was a new episode of the shows he'd watch, and then the next day he'd ask me to watch it in school so he could see my reaction to it. One day, he suggested that I should start cosplaying. I thought about it before, but I just wasn't confident in my body to do it, so I made up my mind before he even asked that I wouldn't do it. When I told him that, he got super upset, but said that he'd accept it. He kept on suggesting it to me over and over again. He'd send me pictures of characters of shows he'd watch with some comment like, that dress would look good on you, or wish I could see her in real life. When he realized that I wouldn't do that, he started to send me straight up hentai. When I asked him why he'd done that, he said, I was watching that last night, couldn't stop thinking about you, and that creepy shit. I told him that this was crossing a line. He got all nice guy and started to insult me and proceeded to tell me how life's unfair to him because he's just so nice to people and gets too comfortable around women to the point where he sends them pornography and no one appreciates it. His excuse was that just because he watched it and sent it to me, it didn't mean that it was a sign that he was interested in me. But keep in mind, when he sent that crap to me, he told me he was thinking about me while he was watching it. I told him that this is bullshit and I'm ending this friendship. He continued the whole nice guys finish last thing and how I'm not a true anime fan for doing this to him. Yes, I'm not a true anime fan. Yeah, if you won't wear one of those hentai shirts in public, you pretty much hate Japan. What a bunch of bullshit. Oh, no one likes it when I send them porn, so I guess I'll just keep doing it. Is this like an involuntary reaction or something? I thought of you while watching something, so here it is. Hey, this actually happened to me last week. I've been planning to post the screenshots to Reddit Nice Guys, but figured I'd wait a while in case he's lurking there, waiting to see our conversation pop up. He doesn't need to know my Reddit account. So anyway, probably not a terrible experience, but it's my only Nice Guy experience, and I got a nice inside joke out of it. A guy came into my store with his parents while I was working the front. Being the customer service guru that I am, I approach them and make light conversation and try to help them pick out some craft beer. The guy is wearing a Chelsea Grin hoodie, and I compliment him on it. My first mistake. His eyes immediately light up, and we talk briefly about music and concerts before he and his family leave. He comes back into my store a few minutes later and asks for my Instagram, and because I'm terrible at saying no when put on the spot, I gave it to him. Almost immediately, my phone blows up with notifications from him liking all my pictures and sending me messages. I don't want to be an ass, so I oblige and respond to his messages. It's very light conversation, but I can tell he wants me to be interested, and ask him questions about himself. Like when he showed me a drawing he did, he then says, I can't really use my hand anymore after... the incident. Get to know me more and you'll learn why. It's a bit of a sensitive topic. And when I asked what his name was, he gave me two names. I asked which one was his real name, and he said, Aiden is my real name. I go by Hunter sometimes, because that was my friend who killed herself. There's a whole lot more weirdness to this story, but to keep it relatively short, I started replying to everything with LOL, oh, LOL, cool, wow, and other short replies that give off the I'm not interested vibe. But he couldn't fucking take the hint and would keep making conversations, so I just started ignoring him, hoping he'd piss off. Instead, he gives me his number and tells me he needs to go, but he doesn't. I wake up in the morning to a good morning beautiful, cringe and a message saying he'd been jumped outside his house last night and needed to go to the hospital. I'm not getting involved in that, so I left him unread. All day I was just ignoring him, and all day he kept sending me messages. Finally, around 8pm, he sends me this woe is me rant about how people always ghost him and he's used to it and stuff. So I reply with, sorry man, you're just being a little weird and I'm not about it. He flips the fuck out. That's fucked up, I'm just a shy, awkward guy, and I really did get jumped last night. My ex showed up and jumped me. I told him that's really weird to get a complete stranger involved in that, but that wasn't even the only thing I was talking about. So you know what happened? He typed out this golden string of words. My friends were right about you, lol. You're just an e-girl. An e-girl. And after less than 48 hours of meeting me, he told all his friends about me. How could I be an e-girl when he met me in person, and why was he gushing about me to all his friends? 
He blocked me after I replied with the whole Reddit nice guys, thanks for the karma spiel. So now to all my friends who find this story equal parts cringy and hilarious, I am an e-girl. They get attached pretty quickly, don't they? You know, acting disinterested will get me to stop talking to someone immediately, but it won't work on this kind of guy. You know how I know? I read perverted justice chat logs sometimes. The decoy will spend the entire conversation saying nothing but lol and wow and the guys just won't shut up. They say some graphic act they want to do and the decoy is just like wow, like that's a normal thing to say. I also like how he told all his friends that he met an actual girl. He probably proclaimed that his love quest was finally over or something. He's trying to act all mysterious or something, but he's pretty pathetic. Let's read one more and then move on to some posts. I knew this neckbeard gentle sir in college who was kind of an edgelord, but mainly harmless. He was actually pretty funny and not a dumb guy, so we hung out once in a while because our class schedules were similar. I didn't lead him on or show interest at all. In fact, I was very openly gay and seeing a girl at the time, and he didn't seem to care one way or another because that's what friends do. One semester we had different schedules, so I lost touch for a while. Then I came down with swine flu and was bedridden for close to three weeks. I got a call from him asking how I've been, dying, malnourished, but on the mend. It was nice to have people check in once in a while, or so I thought. Then this motherfucker cut right to the chase. So don't be offended, I'm gearing up to be offended, but I was wondering if you'd be willing to help me with some critique. Since you're a lesbian, I was wondering if you'd let me eat you out regularly to improve my skills. What the fuck, man? In the dating world? Not anything serious, no strings attached, but I just want a friend to practice on. Yikes. Not only was all that weird as hell, but I just told you I'm seriously ill and unsure if I'm contagious, but I'm with someone and I am a big old gay. Obviously I took him up on his offer. Just kidding, I ghosted the creep and told all our friends about it. Turns out he was just as inappropriate with the other women in the group and shared some unsavory opinions on us with the men. Bullet dodged. It's hard to believe someone actually had the audacity to try this, especially to a friend. Guys, don't hit on lesbians. You don't want to make a fool of yourself like this. Anyway, let's move on. It's time to read some posts from Reddit Nice Guys. I guess this guy DM'd her asking if he can rate her, and she said no. Okay, don't. I don't give a fuck. Just thought I'd ask to give it a try. I'm honest. I make myself seem like an asshole. But like I said, I'm really a nice guy. I give girls good ratings and help boost their self-confidence. That's what it's all about. They expect a crappy rating, and then they get a good one, and it makes them feel good about themselves. Right. Well, good luck with your approach. It works. All women should feel beautiful, and all women deserve an ego boost and self-confidence. Even for fat, ugly girls like you. God, could you be any more condescending to another adult, you little fucking twerp? But like a few months back, there was this girl, and I texted her like every day and gave her compliments and showed interest to her, but she was playing hard to get and she just stopped texting me, and I don't know, I always fuck it up with girls, why they always like guys who treat her bad. Sending random compliments every day is not treating someone good. There's no effort in it. I know I'm a guy, but I'd get sick of it pretty quickly. People always talking about men acting like pigs in clubs, which is true, but last night a girl walked right up to me, wrapped her arms around me, and asked for a drink. As soon as I got her one, she literally did a 180 and walked off. Women, you don't have to play games to get drinks, but at least give me a dance for it. You know, this guy is actually not wrong at all. The point is, women can be drunken assholes, and that's basically what happened here. Let's look at something a bit less reasonable. Go ignore someone else, can't even respond to hi, how you been? Like, what arrogance to think every guy is hitting on you for saying hi, get over yourself. Why in the world would I want to be friends with you? Take your petty, miserable, anxiety-ridden, insecure, spiteful, vindictive self and leave me alone. Okay, thanks. Go torture your fake boyfriend. It's annoying seeing your name on my contact list, if that makes sense. I'm a good guy and you asshole women are making me mean. I really like that spelling of torture, kinda reminds me of one of my old videos where someone spelled bouquet like this. If anyone's been here a really long time. How about one more and then we'll call it a day? Why is it that in this messed up society we live in, people who treat others like shit are the ones to end up in happy relationships? I've seen my friends act in some disgusting ways towards people they are seeing, cheating, manipulating, just general emotional abuse, and yet they're the ones who end up in happy long term relationships. Whereas being a kind, decent behavior towards others seems to only get rewarded with people acting exactly as my friends do towards me? 
You know, I have a feeling if these people are as bad as you say, their relationships are probably not as perfect as you think. Just guessing, though. I don't know your friends, obviously. Well, anyway, that's about all the time I have for you today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks to all my subscribers, and if you're new here and enjoy the content, consider liking, commenting, subscribing, any of that shit. I need a lot of help because I'm demonetized. Speaking of which, thanks so much to my generous patrons. I'll be shouting them out in a video pretty soon here. I had to do a bit more lighthearted of a video because, among other problems, reading through Lucas Werner posts for several days makes you feel like you've had a lobotomy. I will be making a part 3 of that in the next few weeks though, so no worries about that. Let me know if you liked the video today. I have more short nice guy stories from Ask Reddit still, so I can do this again. Have a great night everyone, and remember that just because you got our Instagram doesn't mean you're going steady.